Welcome back students. In this video we are going to learn about subtraction of fraction. We have already learned how to add fraction in the previous video. So let's start with the subtraction in which type 1 when denominators of the fraction are same and you have to subtract. Let's see 3 upon 8 minus 1 upon 8. As you can see here both the denominators are same. So, we have to just subtract its numerator. It is almost similar to addition but some changes are there that I will teach you. So, if denominator are same, you have to just subtract numerator. So, you have to write denominator as it is and for numerator we have to subtract 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. So, we got 2 by 8. Now we have to see whether the simplest form of 2 by 8 is possible or not. Yes, it is possible. Both the numerator and denominator are coming in the table of 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 fours are 8. So our answer is 1 upon 4. You have to always do this. At the end you have to see whether the simplest form of fraction is possible or not. Known. And how to find simplest form? We have to see numerator and denominator both are coming in the same table or not. Okay? Let's take another example where denominator are same. Let's say 5 by 3 minus 2 upon 3. Okay? Here also we can say that both the denominator are same. So we have to write denominator as it is. And we have to just subtract 2 from 5. So 5 minus 2 is 3. And we have already learned 3 upon 3 is 1. Both the numerator and denominator are coming in the table of 3. So in this way we can subtract a fraction when denominator are same. Okay. Now let's start with the type 2 when denominators of the fraction are not same. Let's take example so we can understand it properly. Let's say 11 upon 5 minus 5 upon 3. Okay. So, as you can see here, both the denominator are different. As we have already done in addition, when both the denominator are different, we have to look for common number in both the tables of denominator. So, in the table of 5 and in the table of 3, which is the common number? 15. So, when 15 come in table number 5, 5 3 is up and 3 5 is up. So, we have to multiply this fraction with 3 and we have to multiply this fraction with 5. So, let's do it. 11 into 3 upon 5 into 3. That is 33 upon 15. Why we are multiplying it by 3? Because we have to make both the denominator same. Now this term we have to multiply it by 5. So 5 into 5 divided by 3 into 5 which becomes 25 upon 15. So for 11 by 5 we have 33 by 15. 33 by 15 minus for 5 by 3 we have 25 by 15. 25 by 15. So you can see here. When denominator are same, we can directly subtract its numerator. So if we are subtracting 33 and 25, we got 8 upon 15. So your answer is 8 upon 15. And simplest form for 8 upon 15 is not possible. Okay? So in this way, we can calculate a subtraction of a fraction when denominator are not same. Now let's study about how to subtract a mixed fraction. Let's take an example. Let's say 2 of 3 by 4 subtracted by 1 of 1 by 7. So as we have learned in addition to add or to subtract any mixed fraction we have to first convert that mixed fraction into improper fraction. So how to convert into improper fraction we have already learned in our part 1. So we have to multiply this denominator with 
whole number and we have to add result with numerator okay so 4 2 is a 8 and 8 plus 3 11 11 divided by 4 the denominator remain the same minus now we have to convert this mixed fraction into improper so for that we have to first multiply denominator with this whole number 7 1 is a 7 and we have to add 7 with this 1 so 7 plus 1 8 and denominator remain the same so for this mixed fraction we got 11 by 4 and for this mixed fraction we got 8 by 7 as you can see this is of type 2 where our denominator are not same so we have to check which is the common number in both the table that is in the table of 4 and in the table of 5 so which is the common number 7 4 is the 28 okay and 4 7 is the 28 so 28 is the common number so we have to make both the denominator 28 for that we have to multiply this fraction number with 7 and we have to multiply this fraction number with 4 so let's do it 11 into 7 4 into 7 which becomes 77 divided by 28 and for this 8 into 4 and 7 into 4 so 8 4 is 32 and 7 4 is 28 so for 11 by 4 we got 77 upon 28 minus for 8 by 7 we got 32 by 28 now as you can see here both the denominator are same so we can directly subtract its numerator so for that denominator remain the same and if we subtract 32 from 77 that is 45 okay so in this way we can subtract mixed fraction and with this we have completed the subtraction of fraction okay students now let's study about multiplication of fraction how to multiply given fraction in which type 1 is multiplication of fraction with fraction itself which means fraction is multiplied by a fraction here we don't need to worry about the denominators okay it is the simplest one multiplication of the fraction is the simplest so let's see how to do multiplication in multiplication you can directly multiply one numerator with other numerator and one denominator with another denominator let's see how in first example we have 1 by 3 multiplied by 7 by 2 so as i have said we can directly multiply numerator 1 into 7 divided by now we directly multiply denominator that is 3 into 2 so 1 into 7 becomes 7 and 3 into 2 becomes 6 so for this multiplication answer is 7 upon 6 is that it very simple we have to just multiply numerator and we have to just multiply denominator as it is let's take another example here we have 2 by 5 multiplied by 3 by 7 so as I said we have to directly multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator so 2 into 3 divided by 5 into 7 so 2 into 3 becomes 6 and 5 into 7 becomes 35 so the answer for this is 6 upon 35 isn't it very simple yes it's very simple so for you here is the homework you have to multiply 3 by 4 and 5 by 2 i hope you can do that okay okay students let's start with type 2 that is multiplication of mixed fraction as we have learned in addition and subtraction if any mixed fraction is given you have to convert in a improper form so here also if mixed fraction is given multiplication of mixed fraction is given in first step we have to convert this particular mixed fraction in 
improper form. So we know how to convert that is we have to multiply this denominator with this whole number and the result we have to add with numerator. So 7 minus 7 plus 1 8. 8 upon 7. So for this mixed fraction we have improper form add by 7. Now let's calculate this. 3 3 is a 9. 9 plus 2 11. So here it is 11 upon 3. So for this mixed fraction we have improper form 11 by 3. We have to just multiply both this improper fraction and we got the answer for this mixed fraction multiplication. So we have to just multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator. So 8 into 11 88 and 7 3 is the 21. So our answer is 88 by 21. In this way you can simply multiply any given mixed fraction. You have to just convert in improper form and you have to do multiplication. Okay. Now the last type, type 3 is multiplication with whole number. That means you have given one whole number and that whole number is multiplied by a fraction number as similar to addition and subtraction. So how to do it? We have to first make this whole number as a fraction and we have already learned how to make a whole number to fraction. We have to just divide this number by 1. So we can write 5 divided by 1 multiplied by 2 divided by 3. Isn't it? Now this is a fraction multiplied by fraction. And it is very simple. We have to just multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator. So the answer of this will become 5 2 is a 10 and 1 3 is a 3. 10 by 3 is our answer. In this way, if any whole number is multiplied by fraction, you can first convert that whole number into fraction and then you can simply do the multiplication. I hope you are clear with the multiplication of fraction. Okay? Now the last important topic of entire chapter 4 is division of fraction. How to divide fraction? In which type 1 is division of fraction by fraction it Self. So let's take an example. If I have 1 upon 2 divided by 1 upon 4. If I have 1 upon 2 divided by 1 upon 4. So how to do this division? For that you have to first learn about one concept called reciprocal or it is known as multiplicative inverse. So what is multiplicative inverse? If any fraction is given, suppose let's take this example. If 1 by 2 is given, so what is the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of this particular fraction? In multiplicative inverse or in reciprocal, just remember you have to make denominator as numerator and numerator as denominator. That is, you have to make it reverse. Let's see, multiplicative inverse of 1 by 2. What is denominator here? 2. So this denominator becomes numerator and this numerator becomes denominator. So multiplicative inverse of 1 by 2 is 2 by 1. Let's check another example. If I have fraction 2 by 3, what will be the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal? We have to make denominator as numerator and numerator as denominator. We have to just reverse it. That is 3 upon 2. Let's take another example. If I have 3 upon 7, what will be the multiplicative inverse? Let's see. That is 7 become numerator and 3 become denominator. Okay. Now suppose you have given whole number. If you have given a whole number and you have to find reciprocal of this whole number. So how you can find this reciprocal? For that, as we have seen earlier, 5 is nothing but 5 by 1. As we have already done, if we want to make whole number as a fraction, we have to just divide it by 1. Now you can simply reverse it. 
that is 5 by 1 will become 1 upon 5. In this way, you can write multiplicative inverse of any given whole number and in this way you can write multiplicative inverse of any given fraction. Are you clear with that? If this concept is clear, then you can simply do division. Okay, let's start with the example. So, we have given 1 by 2 is divided by 1 by 4. So, remember this, there are two steps. In step 1, you have to write the division as it is 1 upon 2. And you have to change this sign into multiplication. Remember, you have to write first given fraction as it is and you have to rewrite division as multiplication and the second term the term after the sign of division you have to take multiplicative inverse of that term or you can say you have to take reciprocal of that term that means if the number is 1 by 4 it will become 4 by 1 again let's do it again if a number is given like that, 1 by 2 is divided by 1 by 4. In step 1, what you have to do? You have to write first term as it is. You have to change sign of division to multiplication. And finally, you have to take reciprocal of second term. That is, if number is given 1 by 4, it reciprocal become 4 by 1. Now, if this equation is clear, then you can simply do multiplication in step 2. What we do in multiplication? We simply multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator. So 1 into 4 will become 4 and 2 into 1 will become 2. And again, if simplest form is possible, then you have to write simplest form. This both the values are coming in table of 2. 2 2 is 4, 2, 1 is 2, that is 2 by 1, 2 by 1 is nothing but 2. So, for this division, your answer is 2. Is it clear, students? What we have done? If division of fraction is given, then we have to write first term as it is, then we have to change division sign into multiplication, and we have to take reciprocal of second term any term will be given then you have to take reciprocal of that particular term so 1 by 4 become 4 by 1 and after getting this step you can do simply multiplication that is 1 into 4 and 2 into 1 and answer 4 by 2 you have to see whether the simplest form is possible or not if possible you have to write simplest form if not possible you can stop there is it clear Okay students, let's take another example. Let's say 4 upon 9 is divided by 2 upon 3. So, do you remember the steps of question number 1? In step 1, what we have done? In step 1, we have write first term as it is. That is 4 by 9 will remain 4 by 9. And then, we have changed division sign into multiplication okay after that we have after this we have done reciprocal of second term so what will be the reciprocal of second term that is 2 by 3 the denominator will become numerator and numerator will become denominator so for 2 by 3 the reciprocal will be 3 by 2 is it clear for 2 by 3 reciprocal this denominator will become numerator and this numerator will become denominator. So for 2 by 3 we have write reciprocal as 3 by 2. Now from this we have to just do simple multiplication that is we have to multiply 4 with 3 and 9 with 2. So what it will become 4 3 is a 12 and 9 2 is a 18. Now as I say, you have to always check whether the simplest form is possible or not. So 12 and 18, these both numbers are coming in which table? Let's say 3, 3, 4, 3, 6, yes, in the table of 3 it is coming 
and also in the table of six, six two za and six three za. So your answer will become two by three. Okay. So for this division, your answer will become two upon three. Is it clear, students? In this way, you can divide fraction by fraction. Okay. Now finally we have to learn division with a whole number. When a fraction is given and a whole number is given, how we can divide that? As we have learned in addition, as we have learned in subtraction, and finally we have also learned in our multiplication that whenever a whole number is given, we have to first convert in fraction and how to convert a whole number in fraction we have to simply divide that whole number with 1 so we can rewrite this equation as 8 divided by 1 whole divided by 4 upon 3 now this is the simple division which we have already done how to do a division we have to write first term as it is we have to change division into multiplication and we have to take reciprocal of the second term that is 4 by 3 will become 3 by 4 now from this step we have to do simply multiplication we have to just multiply 8 with 3 and 1 with 4 that is 8 into 3 divided by 1 into 4 that will become 8 3 is the 24 and 4 the simplest form is possible or not Yes, it is possible. 6, 4, 6 is 24 and 4 ones are. That is 6 divided by 1 which is equal to 6. So for this division our answer is 6. So what we have done? We have first converted this whole number into fraction. After converting into fraction we have applied simple step for division of fraction. That is we have write first fraction as it is. We have changed the sign of division into multiplication. After that we have taken reciprocal of second term. That is 4 by 3 become 3 by 4. And we have done simply multiplication. And finally we have seen whether a simplest form is possible or not. It is possible. That's why our answer is 6. Now let's take another example. Here also phi is whole number. So as we have learned, we have to first make a whole number into fraction. So how to do it? Just divide it by 1. Now the steps are simple. We have to write first fraction as it is. We have to change this sign into multiplication and we have to take reciprocal of this. That is 5 by 1 become 1 upon 5. Now do simple multiplication 3 into 1 divide by 2 into 5. 3 into 1, 3, 2, 5 is 10. So here you can see the simplest form is not possible because 3 and 10 are not coming in the same table. So with this we have completed our fourth chapter that is parts and holes that is nothing but fraction. We have learned about addition of fraction, subtraction of fraction, multiplication of fraction. We have finally learned about division. In part we have studied about different types of fraction that is like, in like, mixed fraction, proper fraction, improper fraction, what is simplest form. This all the important topics are compulsory for your chapter number 4. If you are familiar with these topics, you are able to solve any given example of fraction. That's my guarantee. Okay? I hope you like the video and please subscribe to my channel and suggest this channel to your friend. Okay? Bye-bye.